Today, we're talking about rollers. So, rollers, there's nothing in this box. Definitely just a prop. Okay, so these are, where's the front of the box? Hello? Hello? These are rollers. I'm sure you've all seen them before. I'm sure your grandmother probably uses them. And I'm sure you thought that you could not use them and you were wrong. Rollers are a girl's best friend and I'm here today to tell you why. And this is something that everybody needs to know. So please listen up, please listen closely. Rollers are the most multifunctional, most amazing way to style your hair that not a lot of people know about. Like, get out of my face. You're literally stealing my spotlight and it's rude. So. I start off styling people's hair with rollers most of the time because it gives you a perfect, beautiful base to work with. Most of the time people want volume. Most of the time people don't want flat, stick straight hair. Sometimes they do, which is fine. I won't start with rollers that time. Most of the time I do start with a roller set just to give them nice added volume and texture and hold to the style before I do the style. The style before the style is always the rollers. Okay, rollers are an easy way to make it look like you spent a lot of time on your hair when you really did nearly nothing to do it. I could tell you so many reasons why rollers are great, but why don't I just show you instead? I'm gonna show you how to prep your hair for rollers, put the rollers in, and then I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can style a roller set. Why don't we just get into it? Let's go. So, because I don't have long hair, we have my stunt double here today, Whitney. Hi, babe, how are you? You're gonna get a roller set today. Okay, let's do it. We have similar hair vibes, just for this video. <laughs> We're gonna start off by prepping the hair, which is very simple. Everything in this video is gonna be pretty damn simple to follow. I'm first gonna take my rings off. That's what I'm trying to do over here. Ow! <laughs> my rings always get stuck. <laughs> it freaks me out every time. What if my finger has to get chopped off? Ugh. Here we go. Rings off. Oh, this one always gets stuck too. Okay. We're gonna grab what other product but like Glitterati by X Mondo, my brand. Thank you very much. And we're gonna put four squirts in our hand. All right. And we're gonna start off at the bottom of the hair and we're gonna just work it through. All right. Just evenly distribute it, please. Oh my God. You have to evenly distribute product. That is like one of my biggest pet peeves in life is when I see people just put products in one spot. It's like that one spot's greasy. I'm gonna do four more squirts. I'm gonna do the front. Make sure you get it in that hairline. Boom. Bang. This is gonna give you a lot of hold. It's gonna give you a lot of moisture, a lot of shine, and it's gonna get rid of that frizz. And it's gonna make sure your hairstyle lasts all day. So I just did four more squirts. I like to just be heavy handed with this, especially for this kind of styling, because we are trying to like set curls in our hair and we want it to last a long time. So if you feel like this is too much for your hair, it could be. If you have thin hair, this could be too much. If you have thicker hair, this might be too little. So you just have to experiment until you find out what is the exact amount you should be putting in your own hair. And you can see like it's already giving her so much definition in these waves. I haven't even like really done anything and like I feel it. It's definitely in there. Like you can definitely feel glitterati in your hair and that's something I really like about it. It's gonna give you a lot of hold, a lot of texture. All right, so it's great for you guys who have literally no body. Also great for you guys who have a lot of body and need to straighten it out. So done with that prep, put the product in. Perfect. It's also a heat protector. So you're all set. And if you guys didn't already know, you can actually take the excess Glitterati or put a pump of Glitterati right on your skin. It is skin safe and it gives you the best glow ever and it moisturizes your skin. So fun fact, cool. Done talking about my own product. So now I'm gonna take my trusty Dyson and we're just gonna do a rough dry and add just a little bit of round brush curl in our hair. Just do something fast. It doesn't need to do too perfect. I'm gonna kind of overdo it a little bit right now just because I, I want it to look super, super polished. At home, you don't have to go like as hard as I'm about to go. Just give it a good rough dry. Rough dry it to 95%. And also, so this is gonna be a lot better for people who have wavy to straight hair. If your hair is super curly, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to like really put a lot more effort in, get that tight curl out first, and then you can use roller sets after, but you can't really do the rough dry part, you know. But you already probably know that. So if you have really curly hair, put a lot of effort into the blow dry, but if not, if your hair is straight or just a little bit of wave, just don't, you don't have to put a ton of effort. Just make sure like the sections that people see are nice, you know? If I was doing this before work on myself, I would just go in rough dry to like 90%, 95%, and then go in and like blow out these front pieces and then work with the curlers. So she's already drying, she's already pretty dry. You can see also like Glitterati also giving her definition in these curls, which is awesome. So 
Let's go in. Let's try it. And so I always like to do the halo section. If you guys have followed me for a long time, you know that I love a halo. And that is just exactly what it sounds like. A big circle around the head. Just easiest to hit the hairline first because that is where the most kinky curls are. So now I'm gonna start in the back and work all the way around. You guys, come on. Look at that shine. That is no other product besides Glitterati. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Just click off my video if you don't want to hear me brag about my own product line for the next 10 minutes. So, all right. Let's keep blow drying. All right, and now I'm just gonna let down the rest of her hair back here. I'm just go across in two sections and blow dry. The rest. Okay. All right, now that we have her quick little cute blow dry going on and we're like totally twinning out, we are now gonna get our rollers off the floor. So here they are, they're all heated up, very, very hot. Okay, so I'm really not gonna be using the really small ones. I also bought the Remington rollers off of Amazon, they'll be linked below. These ones right here, they're very inexpensive, I think they're like 19 or $20. I did that to show you guys that you don't have to have expensive tools to accomplish a good look. I also have really expensive rollers, but I wanted to get something that you guys could all afford, so I got these rollers. They are a little small, not gonna lie, but it'll be fine. Normally, I would use a little bit bigger, but it's still gonna be great. It's still gonna be awesome. So basically, I'm gonna work down the center of the head. We're just gonna section off a good few inches, like a mohawk. We'll stop at the back of our head like this. We're gonna take a big chunk of hair, right like this. We're gonna grab our large roller and we're just gonna wrap the hair around. Make sure that these ends are tucked in. That is so important or else you're gonna get hooks at the end of your hair and it's not gonna be pretty. All right, so those are in. And that's our first roller. And I have honestly never used these before. <laughs> so we're gonna try them out. They're like these things that come with it. I'm just going, there we go. See, that's our first roller. Not so pretty but doesn't need to be. Just put them in and then just, that's it. Just put them in your freaking head. Don't obsess over it. It's just a roller set. Another big one, wrap it around. Make sure those ends are tucked and bam. That's our second one. Do you see how fun rollers can be? Have I convinced you yet? That's our second one. They're, they're kind of falling out, but that's not the important thing. They're gonna look great, I swear. They're gonna look awesome. So another one up here. Lees come off the head at a 90 degree angle if you're trying to get volume in your hair. That is how I always like to set the hair at. A nice 90 degree angle off of the head. Do not be doing this. Do not be doing that. It's gonna not work and it's not gonna sit on your head properly. And you're not gonna be able to get it tight to your scalp. So let's wrap these ends in at 90 degrees. And that's great, I honestly. You guys, I trash talked these pins in my other like reaction video last week when Simply Now Logical was using them. I actually really like them. <laughs> okay, so that is three up there, done. So easy, so simple. We're gonna put two more large ones right on the side of her head. Again, take a large section, get those ends in there, please. Don't have hooks at the ends of your hair. It is not a good look. Boom. Next side, I'm gonna separate with my fingers because you know what? A lot of you guys out there aren't gonna use combs. And that glitterati that we put in before is gonna get reactivated when we put this heat on it. So if you use glitterati, you blow dry, even if you use a curling iron or you use rollers like I am, you're gonna feel that glitterati is being reactivated by the heat and it's giving you a lot of hold. You don't even need to use hairspray. It's already gonna give you that amazing hold that you're looking for, all right? Oh my God, we're literally like halfway done. And that was probably two minutes of work. I'm gonna put another large one back here. 
And now we're gonna move on to the blue ones and we're just gonna keep going down like this on the side. That way this one's going back away from her face and these ones are giving you volume back here. So let's separate this into two. It's easier to work your way up because then you get the hair out of the way. So fun, so fun. Look at that guys. These are so fun, okay. I actually really like these rollers. I'm pleasantly surprised. They're very cheap and actually very nice. I'm gonna put them back on the ground so they can warm up because they're currently not plugged in. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll come back and do this back last section. All right, now we're back to this bottom last section and I'm just gonna put four down here, two on top of each other right here and two on top of each other right here and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. That is our full set, fully finished. This is what it looks like. All right, so I let that sit for 20 minutes. They feel pretty cooled down. I could definitely leave it on for longer, but ain't got no time for that right now. <laughs> It'll be fine though. Now the fun part, we get to take them all out. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. Oh. Yeah, girl, she is curly. This is so satisfying. This part is like so good. It's giving me that beautiful body that I was looking for. All that volume, like you just don't get this any other way. And like you guys, I'm sorry, but like you can really feel Glitterati working. Like look at that bounciness and that shininess that Glitterati gave it. Oh my gosh. I love it. 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 Oh, do you see that volume? Like, where else are you gonna get that from? With no teasing. Where else? Oh, I don't know what it is about roller sets that just like make me so happy. Like, what? Look at this. I'm sorry, I just love hair too much. Literally, all I did was comb it back once and we have this look already. And that did not take, you know, hours of blow drying to achieve. Like this was just a roller set that took five minutes and a really quick blow dry. And you have this unbelievable body and volume. Like, let me show you the back. This is why I love rollers so much. You don't get this anywhere else. Like this beautiful definition, also glitterati, <laughs> shine and just this amazing, amazing bounce. Why isn't this my hair? So I hate to like mess this up because I love it so much, but I'm gonna show you the next look. So I'm just gonna take a natural bristle flat brush like this and just brush out these curls. If you really try not to get all that like wave and body in your hair, like look, you can literally just brush it out and form it to however you like to wear it. If you wanna go for more of like a soft wave, you can still achieve that with a roller set. And there you go, that's more of like a younger look, a little less perfect and done. The greatest thing about roller sets is like you can reform the hair to however you want. It's like if you want a little more curl in the front, there you go, the curl's back. Take another section, brush it out, form the curl again, twist it, there you go, another one. You can really just do whatever you want because the memory from the curlers are still there. So like now she just has little loose curls. Do the same thing on the other side. And then also, why don't we just give her a different part for the fun of it? So we're gonna push this back and we'll do a little side part. And we'll take the blow dryer and put it on low. And just blow this back just a little bit so it stays. You don't really need to do this on a real person. The mannequins just have like really bad calyx, but that's our second look. Why am I so happy right now? A little side part, much looser waves, a little bit more straight at the top with a little bit of body at the bottom. I know a lot of people love their blow dryers like this. I always get asked by clients, like, can you just give me volume and a little bit of body? That's just like playful and fun and easy. And that is our second look. And now I'm gonna show you guys a quick updo you can do after you do a roller set. So. Let's do it. Let's grab some pins. You're gonna need some bobby pins for this. All right, so I just wanna work with the hair. So I'm just gonna push it all back. We're gonna do a quick tease with our flat brush. Boom, boom, boom. Very gently. Just doing a few back combs and put a little hairspray in. But like, look at that crazy amount of volume we already have in the hair. 
without it doing much. All right, so now we have the volume, we have the teasing in place. We're just gonna take the rest of the hair and we're gonna just loosely pin it back. Done, make sure everything's even. We're not going for like a perfect look. You don't wanna look like you're going to prom or a wedding. It's always that kind of like hard thing to do with updos is like make it not look too done because you end up just overdoing it always. That's what the back looks like. So now we're gonna take the rest of the hair and basically just take two sections and just twist them. See that? All I did was twist this and then twist this into place. Put a couple of bobby pins in the twist. One side done. And then the other side, do the same thing. Twist it once or twice or however long your hair is, you might need to twist it more. Place these in. I'm doing this from the back. I'm gonna turn it around in a second. Look at that, I just did that. I can't even really see it, but I just did that from behind her head and it still looks awesome. All right, so now we're back at the front and it's looking a little granny-ish. We're gonna just kind of mess it up with our hands and apply some hairspray in there. Give it like more texture. You can always release some pieces too. I'm not a huge fan of like pieces being down. And honestly, she doesn't have any baby hair, so it doesn't really work, but like, just like give it some texture. Maybe you can do a little bit of a part. Maybe even like let a piece of hair down. Look at that. So cute. It would look better on a real person, but so cute. Put a little pomade in these to make them nice and these are our three looks using rollers. Aren't they just beautiful? So I had way too much fun filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I feel very passionate about rollers. That probably came across. I just think they're so versatile and easy to use and they're something that not a lot of people think that they need in their lives and I think everybody needs them. We'll see, maybe we'll start a roller revolution here. Um, my channel. If you guys would like to purchase Glitterati or the rollers that I use, they'll be linked below. I'm not affiliated with Remington, but the link will be below. And this was not sponsored by Remington. I'm also doing a Glitterati giveaway that will close April 11th, where I'm giving three of you guys Glitterati boat free worldwide. And to enter, all you gotta do is follow Xmondo Inc. or Radmondo NYC on Instagram, like my most recent post that has to do with the giveaway. And that is it. That is how you enter. It's so easy. So if you guys would like to win Glitterati, do that and you could possibly win. And it's a pretty dope product. That is all for today. I hope you guys give rollers a chance in your life and let me know how you like it. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget <laughs> to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.